This is something that I, it's based on a reading of the way I read a text in the Zohar between the, conf, between the conflict between Judah and, and, and Joseph, the two of the, uh, of the brothers fighting in Egypt over the release of Benjamin. And I say this in the context of the conflict in the Middle East. Uh, I was actually talking about this while the conflict in Gaza was still <coughs> raging. And I noticed that uh, even in the Jewish community, there are really different people of different, very, very strong feelings about it that are not all the same. There are the people who you could say are just saying Israel is right and there's no question, there's nothing Israel can do wrong because they're defending themselves and it's just collateral damage, period. We have to support Israel 100, 1,000%. There are others who are actually uh, have issues with that and think that clearly Hamas is wrong for uh, continuing this, this, uh, this hatred, but they don't feel Israel's response is a proper response either. And uh, many, there are many liberal Jews, even when it comes to, they don't stop being li liberal, even when it comes to Israeli politics. Now, in my community, I knew that there are people on both camps and often the, uh, the people in these camps, they can't talk about politics. And if they do, they get into really angry, angry denunciations of each other because it seems like the person who's looking at it from the, from the perspective of the nation will come to the defense of the nation of Israel. And the person who's looking at it in terms of the particular person weighing things out trying to say they're objective, watching the news media and seeing the death toll has a problem with what's happening. And this is how I've read this text. Benjamin, I'm sorry, Joseph, he's the king of Egypt, okay? He's a governor of, of, a, of a nation that isn't necessarily aligned with Israel. But what he actually is, is even higher than the nationalistic tendencies, in a sense, of what Judah represents. Judah represents the person who wants to save the Jewish soul. He's willing to go to war to save his brother Benjamin. He represents the house of the kingdom of David. He represents the force in Judaism that's willing to fight so that Jews don't die. And even if innocent people are going to be killed, that's, you know, it's not their problem because they're trying to save the Jewish people. On the other hand, Joseph represents a more individualistic, personal relationship with God that's not about being part of a group as much as it is what we call Zer Ampin, the, the Holy One, blessed be He, embodied in the male energy not so much a belonging to a whole collective, but being with God in this kind of individualistic state. And in that state, you could find the merits to how Israel is acting, so to speak. And they're in a conflict with each other, meaning the person who wants to judge Israel objectively, it doesn't want to be part of Israel, assuming they're really on a spiritual level, assuming they really love God, assuming they really love what's right, and they really want to do what's good for the world, has to still come to some level of togetherness with the nationalist Jew. And vice versa, the nationalist Jew, the Judah Jew, has to see the perspective, even if they don't agree with it, but at least to have to make peace, because only when those two get together Will there be real harmony? That's, to me, a beautiful teaching about what Judaism is, that the Zohar is letting us know. Judaism isn't one or the other. It isn't just about, it's all that we're, oh, the Jewish people, we love the Jewish people, they're always right, we have to defend the Jewish people. Or an individual going onto a mountaintop and ignoring the realities of the suffering of his brothers or sisters. It's those two learning how to coexist. If we could do it internally, we will also make peace in the Middle East.